kick it, Jackie Chan. Oh, Jamar Chase with the dive. You know, Garrett Wilson's wide open. Garrett Wilson, touchdown Barrett. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video here on the World of Juice channel and welcome back to another episode of the Brooklyn Barons relocation franchise here on Madden 23. It is upon us. The Madden gods have been kind to us for once and we are officially in the Super Bowl and not only are we in the Super Bowl but this Super Bowl has has history it has lore it has drama because we're playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and if you're not familiar with why the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are so significant it is because if you go all the way back to our off-season video before this current season that we're in we made a massive trade which included our player, Justin Fields, trading him to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers for their quarterback, Jalen Hurts. You see where I'm taking this? And then we played Tampa already in this season in like week two or... Like, it, was, it, it was within the first three weeks of the season. I think it was week two, but it was within the first weeks, three weeks of the season for sure. And we absolutely smoked them, so... I thought that was the last we've seen of Tampa. But Justin Fields has gotten this team to the playoffs and has gotten them to the Super Bowl. So it will be a rematch of early in the season, Tampa versus Brooklyn. But it will also be a rematch for Justin Fields versus Jalen Hurts. I cannot believe this. I couldn't even have written a good enough story like this. This, this stuff is better than even Hollywood could ever write. So this is just a, a storybook Super Bowl, and hopefully it ends with a storybook ending for us. I do want to say, I apologize, I apologize, I apologize for the AFC Championship video. I don't know what happened. I was rendering the video, and I thought that it rendered fully. It looked to me like it rendered fully, but then when I uploaded it, it had only uploaded like 13 12 to 13 minutes of it for some strange reason i don't know why that's never happened before and then i had already deleted all of these separate files to kind of clear space up because these videos are like 45 minutes to an hour long and it takes up a lot of space on my computer so i already had deleted all the face cam stuff all the audio all the all the actual gameplay and i couldn't re-edit it to get it the full game, the full episode. So I didn't realize that until it was already too late. I apologize so much. I, it was a banger. It was an absolute, it was one of my favorite episodes of the entire series, which makes me even more upset because you guys didn't get to see it, but we did win the AFC championship. What a wild game it was. And we're here. So I, again, I apologize. I'm so sorry that I, uh, I made that mistake. That's all hundred percent on me. I, I completely screwed it up. And it hopefully will never happen again. I, I can't be I can't, I can't be fully uh, like guaranteed that it won't happen again because I'm an idiot. So it could happen again just because I'm stupid. But for the hopefully I will never make that mistake again, and there will never be another time where I only upload like a quarter, not even a quarter of an episode because I had deleted the rest of it. <laughs> so that's on me. I apologize. I hope you can understand. Um, but we've got the Super Bowl, so yeah, the AFC Championship it was an amazing episode, but this one I'm hoping is going to be even better. It's got the history, it's got the drama, it's got the story, and I'm hoping that the game lives up to all of the off-the-field stuff. So without further ado, it's time to play in our first ever Super Bowl. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club. Let's get straight to it. Here we are. Super Bowl Sunday in Atlanta, Tampa versus Brooklyn. Now, you could say we are technically the home team in this game, but you could certainly see a lot more Tampa fans coming to this game because we are in Atlanta 
and that's a lot closer to Tampa, Florida than it is to Brooklyn, New York. So I, I know Brooklyn fans travel pretty well, but that's a long distance and it's a lot easier for Tampa fans to get to Atlanta than it is for Brooklyn fans. So even though we are the home team, we could be seeing a little bit of a fan uh, majority for the away team. But here is the playoff bracket. Here's the final score of the game against the Bengals. 42 to 21. We beat the Cincinnati Bengals on the road in Cincinnati to take home our first ever AFC championship. Tampa beat Carolina in that game, in their game. So it'll be two versus two for the Super Bowl. The Cardinals got beat in their divisional, their first playoff game. That's kind of that's kind of depressing for our number one seed. What a way to, to end their season. We will take a look at the final stats. Or actually, we already did take a look at the final stats, didn't we? We will take a look at the... Um, what did I want to say? Oh, the season recap after the episode. because Or after the game. Because then we'll find out who officially wins. Like MVP, Player of the Year, all that kind of stuff. And then we'll see who wins Super Bowl MVP and all that good stuff. So... Not waste any more time. It is time for weekly strategies. There he is, former Brooklyn Baron quarterback Justin Fields. I'm happy for him. I'm happy for him because it seems like it's a win-win trade. We got a quarterback who, in our mind, is a franchise quarterback and has driven us to the Super Bowl. They got a quarterback who, in their mind, is a franchise quarterback and has gotten them to the Super Bowl. So, I mean, it's this is about as win-win of a trade as you can ever get. They still have Leonard Fournette, playoff Lenny at a star development 90 overall we will try to defend the short pass uh we'll defend the qb scramble we will defend the qb scramble i don't know how much justin fields is gonna run i don't remember from the episode early in the season how much he ran but we will try to defend the qb scramble just in case he tends to get a little crazy they do have vita vea and they still have antoine winfield they still are a very very elite defense but it's time, boys. It is on. It is game time. <sighs> first ever Super Bowl. The first Super Bowl in franchise history. We've gotten over the hump. We've gotten over the hump. We are no longer the, the Cinderella story. We are the favorites. We are the, the team that should be here. And I just want to quickly check the injury report, make sure nobody is on there. Perfect. We've got an absolute clean bill of health for the Super Bowl, which means our favorite number one overall draft pick is a back. He is back and better than ever. Where is he at? There he is. Shaquem McLeod has returned to the lineup. He will start over Jermaine Johnson, uh, just to be sure. Did Jalen Hurts? No, 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 no. Jalen Hurts dropped down to start of element. So did Saquon Barkley. Why did they drop down to start of element? I'm not having it. There's no way that Jalen Hurts is dropping down to start of element. Not on my watch. And neither is Saquon Barkley. I'm not going to move them up to superstar because that's not what they were. But they were start of element players all season. Well, I mean, I wasn't a start of element player. I threw a lot of interceptions. But that shouldn't hinder Jalen Hurts' development trait so both of these players are start development players uh i think saquon is a start development player whatever he is now <laughs> so this is what the lineup will look like on offense as we head into the super bowl then i will go into the depth chart and make sure that shakima cloud starts uh back over jermaine johnson uh, let's go do that right now make sure that shakim mcleod is the starting rusher not that side. He needs to be on the left side. There he is. Jermaine Johnson. Switch that in. Zach Allen. Switch that with... Uh, can't do that with, with Quinn and Williams. So we'll just switch with Shaquem. There we go. And then we'll take Zach Allen and put him right there. All right. Perfect. So Shaquem McLeod will start at right end. Then we will go to the right... Uh, the rush left end. Make sure that's Josh Allen. The rush right end is Kayvon Thibodeau. D tackles all figured out. Sub linebacker is all good. Uh, slot corner is going to be Sauce instead of JJ. So Sauce will go back to the, so the slot corner. And I want to make sure the kick return stuff is all good. 
Kick return, Nate Harrison Benson. That's fine. Nate Harrison Benson. Perfect. So, kick return stuff. Everybody is in the position that they should be in. Let's take a look at the, for the final time this season, what our opponent's roster looks like. Tampa Bay in the Super Bowl. We already did this earlier in the season, but I'm sure, I'm assuming you've forgotten because I have forgotten. So, although you probably have a better memory than I do. Justin Fields is the quarterback with Daniel Jones as the backup. It's funny. <laughs> it's funny that we are playing our former quarterback in the Super Bowl. Leonard Fournette, the running back with Rashad White as the backup. Receivers, Chris, Chris Godwin, Adrian Sheffield, Kiki QT, but he is injured for this game. So they'll have Nico Collins, Bernard Morton also uh, on the receiving core. Not a great receiving core even with Kiki QT involved, but without him, that's even worse. So they're going to struggle, but obviously they've played well enough to get to the Super Bowl, so I shouldn't say anything bad about them. Irv Smith is the tight end with Charlie Warner. Then you've got the offense line, Joseph Noteboom, Char uh, Jonathan Charlton, but he's injured, so they'll have John Runyon. Very interesting as the starting left guard. Ryan Jensen still here playing center. That's pretty funny. Shaq Mason is still here right guard. Tristan Wirfs is the probably the best right tackle in the league. So their left side of their offense line is very weak, but their middle and right side is strong. So we got to stay probably attacking the left side, I would assume. Roosevelt Patton, I remember this dude. He is an absolute freaking animal. Um, I do remember this dude from the draft and from the game against us early in the season. He's playing left end. Logan Hall will start at right end. Then they've got Vita Vea in the middle along with Troy McCoy, rookie out of Texas. The outside linebackers are Shaquille Barrett and Joe Tryon Shoinka and the middle linebacker is Devin White. Corners, Carlton Davis, Byron Jones, Nick Needham, Alex Waller, but he's injured, and Zion McCullum. So a couple really good corners, a lot of veteran leadership here in the secondary. But are they good enough to keep up with our receivers? We'll find out. Antoine Winfield, the free safety. CJ Gardner-Johnson, the strong safety. Kicker is Riley Patterson, and punter is Jake Camarda. That is the Tampa Bay offense and defense heading into the final game of the season, the Super Bowl in Atlanta, our first ever Super Bowl. Let's go and make sure we are one for one. Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Bucks and the Barons, and it's all up next. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. We count down to kickoff in what should be an epic one here, as it'll be the AFC champions taking on the champions from the NFC, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Again, everyone with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Brooklyn ball club. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. On the other side of the field for the visiting Bucks, they too were winners last time out. So something's got to give here. I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. For the first time in franchise history, I get to say these words. The Brooklyn Barons relocation franchise is in the Super Bowl and it's underway. TJ Hawkinson lays a huge hit on the return, man. And here comes Justin Fields. I forgot he was wearing number 10. That's pretty funny. I think in the game early in the season, I said I would change his number. Obviously, I did not do that. But we're taking on Justin. This is this is the game, man. This is the drama, the storylines off the field. Justin Fields versus his former team. 
Jalen Hurts versus his former team. I mean, we have history earlier in the season. We beat them pretty heavily uh, in the game in the regular season. So will things repeat themselves or will the, the Buccaneers play a lot better than they did in that game? We'll have to wait and see what happens, but that's going to be a third in inches to start the drive for Tampa. Will they do anything crazy here? They're going to hand it off to Leonard Fournette, and he will have some space down the middle. Leonard Fournette breaks off a big chunk of yardage. Playoff Lenny is in full effect in the first quarter. Although, the, to be fair, that was a very good blocking game or blocking run by the, the offensive line there. I'm just so happy that we get to have Shaquille McLeod back because we severely missed him, although we did have some players step up. John, uh, Jermaine Johnson definitely stepped up in his place. But it's nice to have our number one overall pick back on our team and healthy. It was a big loss when we had him get injured, but he is back. He is ready to go, and he's ready to win a Super Bowl in his rookie season. Third and five for Tampa. It's going to be a Fields pass, and it's going to be Justin Fields heaving one to the side or to the middle of the field, and it's going to be caught. It's going to be Nico Collins with the catch. That should not ever be caught. Justin Fields is off his back foot, throwing across his body to the middle of the field. That should never be a catch. That's an interception 100 times out of 100 if I throw it. And Leonard Fournette gets another big carry. Okay, I'm getting a little worried here. This is a very strong drive for Tampa to start this game. Very strong drive. Ugh. <sighs> Let's go. Shaquille McLeod can't get the sack, but I missed the tackle with J.J. Godfrey. That's a big hit. That ball is out. Tremaine Edmonds. And Bryce Hall's got it. He gets around everybody. Go, Bryce, go. Go, Bryce, go. Take it to the house, Bryce. I know you got the speed. Touchdown, Barons. It's a fumble six in the Super Bowl. Tremaine Edmonds lays the shoulder on Leonard Fournette after I missed the original tackle and we pick it up and Bryce Hall had just enough speed to get there. Who needs an offense when you've got a productive turnover happy defense like the Brooklyn Barons? And instead of being down 7-0 in the first quarter, we are now up 7-0 in the Super Bowl. This is Super Bowl 60 as it looks like uh, on the the logo because L is 50 X is 10 so I'm assuming it's 60 it had to be it would have to be 60 so if we could win Super Bowl 60 that'd be awesome he's got four carries 26 yards but that ever so important fumble they were they were almost destined to score a touchdown on that drive if Tremaine Edmonds doesn't pop that ball out he has been such a dominant player this year in coverage and in like just tackling players and forcing fumbles, incomplete passes, all that kind of stuff. Tremaine Evans has been a very solid player, which is going to hurt even more when we most likely have to move on from him in the offseason because his contract is too much. We'll make a decision. I don't know. It's not guaranteed, but we'll have to see. Fields throwing again. These kind of passes should not ever be caught. I don't understand why he's making these passes. Come on, guys. Cover your, your player. Dustin Field should never run directly backwards, throw a ball into play, and have it completed for positive yardage. That should never happen. But whatever. It does for the second time in this game. Maybe Justin Fields has just got the magic. I don't know. Under two minutes to go in the first quarter, Barons lead 7-0 after the fumble. And the return. That's going to be a quick throw. Was not expecting such a quick throw. It's the backup tight end, Charlie Warner, who gets the catch. <clears throat> that was uh, premeditated. That was designed to be that quick of a throw. That was crazy. He snapped it, caught it, and threw it. Let's get to fields, please. That's going to be Chris Godwin. Is that the first catch of the day for Chris, or is that the second? It's either It's one of the two. I don't know. Very well could be the first or the second. It is the first. Second and three, Quinton Williams is in the backfield, but he couldn't officially bring him down. So Josh Allen, Nicobe Dean, Tremaine Edmonds, everybody was in there, but Quinton Williams was the guy to, to stop his momentum. It's third and five. 
If we could force a field goal attempt, that'd be awesome. I certainly don't want a for, uh, first down, but that's probably what they're going to get. We got to get to the quarterback. I don't know what that was. The throw or the, the lack of pressure. And that's going to be a field goal attempt. This is a deep one. Riley Pat Is it Riley Patterson? I think it is. He has a lot of... Oh, it's going to be a fake. It's a fake. I did not expect the fake in the Super Bowl. I respect it. We were we were not ready for it, but we we did uh, snuff it out pretty well. Man, a fake in the Super Bowl. That's wild, man. I respect it. You got to do what you got to do in the Super Bowl. It's, it's the last game of the season. It's the most important game of the season. You got to pull out all the stops. So I, I respect it, but I just didn't I didn't see it coming. That's for sure. And that'll be the end of the first quarter. This is literally the first time we've had the ball on offense. And it's the end of the first quarter. One play. Maybe we could try and, and take this to halftime. Because we get the ball. Uh, excuse me. We get the ball to get the at the start of the second half. So that would be cool. Travis Etienne not going anywhere. No surprise there. Third and two. Third and and two, does A.J. Brown get enough separation over on that side? I don't think he will. Uh, so we send him up the field. A.J. Brown! Wow, that was a dumb play. That was a dumb, dumb play. We don't put the football on the channel, even in the Super Bowl. I probably should have just thrown it to somebody that was a little bit more open. But it will be Garrett Wilson first down, Barons. The drive is alive. You can always count on Garrett Wilson to make those catches on the, sl the slants because he's just that good. Let's get back to the offense, run the, the football, control the game. Away team has trouble blocking. Ooh, that could be useful. Oh, great blocks from the offense, including the receivers. And Saquon takes it down to the 24. Good blocks thrown by Justin Jefferson, by Will I think Will Washington even threw a block in there. Terrific blocks. We will throw this out of the backfield. It's Saquon. I could not get a juke out of it. That kind of sucks. We didn't even get a yard. I hate when we don't get a yard on those kind of passes because then it's just a waste. I thought I had it, though. Uh, oh, my God. Will Washington wide open? No! Why was that not caught? Should I have done an aggressive catch? I went possession on that. Maybe I should have gone aggressive. I thought I would have it no matter what. Justin Jefferson could not hold on to it. We should have scored a touchdown on this drive. It's it's a guarantee. We should have had it. Will Washington was open, but the ball apparently was overthrown. That was a perfect ball. Maybe I should have gone aggressive catch. I don't know. But McPherson puts the ball through the, the uprights, and we lead 10-0 instead of 14-0. Ah, oh, that's dumb. Very, very dumb. We should have had a touchdown. That's a missed opportunity. <sighs> I'm upset about that. I'm really upset about that. That should have been a guaranteed touchdown. I don't know what that was. Why it wasn't a touchdown. The only thing I can think of is, like I said, we should have. I should have gotten aggressive catch. But I didn't think I needed to. I thought it was good enough throw where it didn't need to be aggressive. That's going to be to the sidelines. Caught, but clearly out of bounds. And it'll be second down. No completed catch. Even if he would have caught it, I think we would have pushed him out of bounds anyway. That's a screen pass. N'Kobe Dean's right there. What's the flag? Did I hit Justin Fields? I might have. I might have hit Justin Fields. Thank God. It's not a roughing the passer call. I wasn't sure. Second and 20 or third and 12? I'm going to go third and 12. We're not going to accept it. We're going to try to keep them from getting 12 yards. I would hope that we can be able to do this, but you never know. That's a up-in-the-air pass. I don't know what that was. It even confused me. Murphy Bunty probably should have had that, to be fair, but whatever. It doesn't matter. We get the ball back no matter what. So At least they didn't try to fake the punt. <laughs> that would have been crazy. And Nate Harris, in that game against the Cincinnati Bengals had a punt return touchdown I I kid you not he had a punt return touchdown I was super hyped about it it was insane it was absolutely insane and so I'm happy that we have him on the team <laughs> happy that we have him on the team we'll go tight end attack will Washington hopefully will be open on this 
I don't know. I see him. I, I trust me. I saw Justin Jefferson there, but I also saw uh, Winfield, and I didn't think he'd be able to catch it. I, I did see Justin Jefferson. Don't you worry. But the founding father caught the ball. That was a good throw from Fields as well, or from Fields, from uh, Hertz. Double slants. Two minute warning is coming. Let's see. Is this going to be open? Is this going to be open? It's going to have to be Ramondre. I couldn't win the tackle battle. No shock there. And I won't be able to get another snap off. Two minute warning. <sighs> We've got to put this ball in the end zone. It's got to happen. It has got to happen. Third and three. I don't know who it's going to have to be. Garrett Wilson, fourth and three. They use a timeout. I do not want to kick another field goal. We got to score here. I didn't like any of the routes. It's got to happen. Justin Jefferson catches it. First down. Big play. Thank you, Jay Jettas. We could give this to... Travis Etienne, or we could check it to a slant and give it to the founding father who should have had a touchdown earlier. He wouldn't have scored on that catch even if he brought it in because it pulled him out of the end zone too far. What is going on, Will? Why are you uh, not making these catches? That should have been a very simple catch. Is that a Chris Olave catch? Okay, I'm making too many. I'm making this harder than it needs to be. Throw it to Justin Jefferson, score the touchdown, and move on. This is unnecessary drama. Justin Jefferson touchdown. We lead 16 to nothing. And he's gritty and in the Super Bowl. We got a Super Bowl gritty. And the Barons will lead 17 to nothing against the Tampa Bay Bu Buccaneers in the Super Bowl and we're only in the first half and Jalen Hurts has had a great game so far probably should be 21 to nothing but I'll stop complaining about it a minute and 15 seconds left the Tampa Bay Buccaneers have two timeouts because they used one on our on our drive for some reason maybe they thought they were gonna get the ball back I don't know they don't have a lot of time they gotta get points it's picked off! Picked up by Edmonds, the yes! What? I gotta go back and see the replay. What was this throw? So, Jalen or Justin Fields drops back in the pocket, sees the pressure from Quinn and Williams, just decides to check down to Leonard Fournette, but Edmonds is right there. He just puts his body in front of Fournette and steps in front of the pass. Uh... Yeah, thank you, Tremaine. I appreciate that. That's a uh, awesome play. That is an interception that I did not expect to have in this game. A possession I did not expect to have. But we have it. We are in field goal range already. Justin Fields, maybe he just can't cut it. Maybe in the end, we won the trade and they didn't. They did get to the Super Bowl, but what does that matter if you can't win it? A.J. Brown, big catch. We will use one of our timeouts because we are running out of time. We're under a minute. So we'll have to play this a little careful. 46 seconds. Jefferson could be open, but this is most likely a Garrett Wilson, A.J. Brown type of play. Uh, probably Garrett. It's going to be a little bit behind him. We'll run some no huddle just to waste a little bit more clock because this is a little bit still a lot of time left. Hand this ball off to Barkley. Barkley gets the first down, but he can't get any more. We'll call our second timeout. All right. So we've got 23 seconds. Give this ball to Barkley one more time because we do have a timeout. So, But I don't think we'll need it. Saquon Barkley scores, and the Barons are dominating. This is our Super Bowl. It's our season. I told you we were the team of destiny this year. And we are producing on the field in the most important game. 24 to nothing in the bowl. 
awesome. I couldn't be happier with the way this game has gone. Obviously, I would like to be up 28 to nothing. I'll stop complaining about that Will Washington incompletion, whatever. It doesn't matter. If that would have cost us the game, oh, you bet your butt. I would be furious. But I don't have to be because it's not going to be the game. Will Justin Fields throw another interception? It's very likely. Very, very likely. They call a timeout. I don't know why they're running the ball when uh, they need to throw the ball and score touchdowns. They need points quickly. Here they go. They will throw it. It'll be Barkley again. Or not Barkley. It'll be uh, Fournette, but J.J. Godfrey this time. That was a similar play to what they just threw the interception on with Jermaine Edmonds. 13 seconds. Third and inches. It'll be caught. Edmonds brings him down. They use their final timeout. What are they going to do? Probably just heave. See how far Justin Fields can throw. 24 to nothing. Barron's lead. It'll be a check down. I don't know what they're doing. Keep him in bounds. The game is ours. We go to halftime. Nobody cares about the halftime show. Nobody cares about the halftime show. We will try to defend the deep pass. Because that's what he's most efficient in, apparently, I guess. Whatever. And we get the ball to start the half. Nate Harris. Can he return a kick? He's been electric this season with the kicks. Uh, in, in a small sample, or a small uh, result. He's only got like two kick returns, I think, maybe. I don't remember. Let's run the ball. Let's waste time. I know we just started the third quarter. But, I mean, we're up 24 to nothing. We don't need to do much, but Ramondre Stevenson. No, don't call a holding. You cannot call a holding on that. That's way too late in the game. Oh, my God. That's way too late in the play for a hold. Come on. Ramondre got a huge gain there. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Ramondre gets a huge gain, and it's just completely wiped away because of a hold. I hate when that happens, man. I hate when you get such a good play and it just comes right back because of a hold. I got to throw that ball. I, I did throw the ball. Logan Hall with the sack on Jalen Hurts. I pressed triangle to throw the football. Maybe it's better that I didn't throw it because there was a lot of players in the, the area that I was going to throw with jerseys that are not Brooklyn Baron jerseys, and that's going to be fourth down and 12. Yikes. We could give Tampa the momentum they need to get back in this game if I don't complete this fourth down. Is that going to be Will Washington? He holds on. First down, Barons. When we needed a big play, we trusted our founding father. Big throw from Hertz as well. Big time play from big time players. ETN gets the carry. Good blocks from the receivers down the field. He gets a decent gain. I wasn't sure really where to go on that one. Okay, we've got a lot riding on this game. Barkley, good blocks. Barkley tried to get the edge. He should have had it. I don't know how I didn't outrun him there. Not sure how I didn't outrun him, but we didn't. Carlton Davis is able to keep up with me. First down and 10, though. I believe Justin Jefferson, juke move to the five. The Barons are traveling. Can we score another touchdown to basically ice this one out of the way for the Barons or for the, the Bucks? I had to throw that away. I didn't think I had anything there. Wasn't sure. I didn't want to throw an interception. I don't want to throw anything stupid. Barkley. Oh, I don't know how that ball didn't cross. How did that ball not cross the line? Oh, that's so stupid. That should have... All he had to do was reach it a little bit. He would have had a touchdown. Give it to Washington. He can't score. You've got to be joking me. Why can Will Washington not score a touchdown? What is this this founding father bias? Let him score. We could easily go with a QB sneak, the juice special, 
But I want Will Washington to score a touchdown. He will score one in the Super Bowl. Finally. He finally gets a touchdown. One that he deserved earlier in the game. But never got it. And now we lead 31 to nothing. Are we going to put up a skunk in the Super Bowl? Are we going to put up a fat zero for the, the Bucks? That would be crazy. Has any team ever gotten shut out in the Super Bowl? I'm not 100% sure. In recent memory, I don't think so. Not even the Patriots when they were down to the Falcons got shut out. They were 28 to 3 before they came back, so I don't know. I'd have to I have to do a little bit of research on that, but as far as I rem as I remember, there was never been a team that's been shut out in a Super Bowl until today. Oh, I wanted JJ to pick that off. Maybe if JJ has Acrobat, he comes back and picks it off. Who knows? Or maybe it's still caught no matter what. Maybe it was destined to be caught by whoever that was. But the, the Buccaneers are in big trouble. They are down 31 points late third quarter. And they are they're driving, but I mean, they're not really being as quick as they need to be. They need to pick up the pace. Yeah, they've still got a whole quarter of football, but you're going to need a lot more than one quarter of football to come back from a deficit this big. And Lenny stays in bounds. I thought he was going to go out of bounds. Just the, the way that that happens in Madden sometimes, the momentum takes him out of bounds. I thought he would, but he did a good job to stay in bounds, and he got a, a extra yards out of it because I wasn't ready for it. Now hand it off to Fournette. He will get some good yards. Five yards out of it. They might be able to get one more play after this in the third quarter. Or this will be the last one, depending on how long the play goes and how crazy the accelerated clock is. I really would like to see my rookie, Shaquem, get an interception. Or get an interception. Get a, uh, a sack in the Super Bowl. That would be awesome. His first ever Super Bowl in his rookie season. Get a sack. That would be crazy. Seven minutes remain between us and our first ever Lombardi. It's got to happen. McLeod is able to wrap up Fournette, but not before he gets the first down. I don't care, man. They could score. I don't I don't really care about the, the shutout too much. They can waste time. They can score. It's not going to matter at the end of the day. Or Sauce Gardner can pick it off. He couldn't, but he did a good job allowing or making sure that Chris Godwin couldn't catch it. That's why we put Sauce back in the in the slot there. That's why we put Sauce back in the slot. Oh, by the way, I forgot to tell you, in that AFC title game, we did get another player with two interceptions, so the streak continued. It was Bryce Hall picked off Joe Burrow twice. I think Joe Burrow in that game threw three total interceptions, uh, maybe four. I think it was three, though. He threw three interceptions in that game. For sure he threw three. Two of them were to Bryce Hall in big moments, too. Leonard Fournette on third and eight cannot get that much space. That's annoying. There's no reason he should have that much space. But he did. And it's a first down Bucks. They survive a little longer. It's going to be a screen pass. Tackle him, please. Good job. Lewis Seen brings him down. They are wasting a lot of clock on this one drive. They have no... Uh, they have no perception of time here. No urgency. I mean, they're doing these little check down throws. They're still running the football with Fournette. Yeah, they're being effective. They're moving the ball, but they are wasting so much time. Maybe they just realize they're not going to have a chance. I mean, it's 31 to nothing. You, didn't, you, you really didn't have a chance to begin with. Quentin Williams in the backfield. Stops him easily. Second and goal. Big time play from a big time player. He's had a really good postseason. And he's had a really good end of the season. He really stepped up his game this year. Very solid player. Very happy to have him on the team. And that's going to be another... Oh, no, it's not. He broke the tackle. Williams was in the backfield to shut him down, but he broke off of him. It's third and goal from the nine. No chance for a first down. It's a fourth down or a touchdown. It'll be fourth down. Fields just throws it away. Bad decision. Because now it's fourth and goal from the nine. It's either a turnover or a touchdown. No in between. Turnover or a touchdown. What will it be? 
Fields, back in the end zone. Touchdown, Bucks. That was a good throw. Godwin got behind the defense. Got to the back of the end zone, and they will not be shut out in the Super Bowl. 31-7. to But there's three minutes. They're going to go onside kick. I honestly didn't think they would. It'll be onside kick. It'll be collected by J.J. Godfrey. And your Barons will start at the 46. Let's just run the ball, baby. I do not care how it happens as long as we win this game. Barkley will get a good carry, break a tackle, and get to the 38-yard line. That's good to see. Good to see. Good job, Saquon. He's had a good day. Not as many rushing yards as he may have wanted, but he's had a very solid day. ETN's had a good day on limited carries. ETN get to the side. He had the speed to get the first down. Four carries, what, 27 yards is what that said? One more run and we might take it to the two-minute warning. Yeah, probably. After this run, we will go to the two-minute warning. Uh, Barkley, he got off the block very easily there. That sucks. Two-minute warning. Do they use their timeouts? I hope not. It's 31-7. to You've got no shot of winning this game. Even if I gave you the ball immediately and you scored immediately, you have still have really no chance of coming back in this game. So don't use your timeouts. They don't have to because Tom Lowry, our starting center, gives them a free timeout. Thanks, Tom, for uh, getting injured, giving them a free timeout there. If I can get that ball away, I can, but Justin Jefferson could not hold on. They brought a huge all-out blitz. It forced me to get the ball away quicker than I wanted to. And Justin Jefferson could not hold it in. McPherson kicks. 50 yards. Gets it. 34-7. Just to even further extend our lead. You never know. Maybe for some strange reason by an act of God, the Buccaneers were able to get this game back to a one-possession game. That field goal would could be huge. But in a minute 49, I don't really see that happening. Tom Lowry has a leg cramp. In the Super Bowl, really, Tom? Get back in here. Get back in the game. Leg cramp? Come on, man. If it would have been like a ruptured spleen, then I could understand. But a leg cramp? Drink some water and get back on the field. It's the Super Bowl. If this was week one, maybe I'd think a little differently. But you got a whole offseason to rest in that rest that leg cramp. And you've got a Super Bowl ring to get fitted for. I got an itchy ear, and I got to play this defensive drive here. Third and inches from the 35. Fields, quick throw, caught by Godwin. Broken tackles galore. But he got the first down. They don't use their second timeout. Strange, because they used their timeout earlier. So they will let the clock drain. McLeod, for some reason, cannot get any pressure on Fields, but Thibodeau does and forces that ball to sail over the head of the receiver. A minute and 11 seconds between us and a Super Bowl. I cannot believe that we are this close to the promised land. Sauce Gardner can bring him down. Bryce Hall and Lewis Seen will, will then uh, push him out of bounds. A minute and five seconds. Come on, boys. Please. Give me something good. Thibodeau couldn't get the sack. It's picked off by Sauce Gardner. This game is over. The Brooklyn Barons are going to win the Super Bowl. Sauce Gardner does it. It's very fitting. Sauce Gardner was the man that picked off Mac Jones twice in the wild card. So it's fitting that he gets the interception that seals our Super Bowl. Wow. The Brooklyn Barons, man. How long has it been? Has it been four seasons? Three seasons? Saquon Barkley, a man on a mission on that run. I can't remember exactly. I think it's been three to four seasons with this rebuild. Last year, we made the playoffs. We made the AFC title game, but didn't beat the Chiefs. We got close, but couldn't beat the Chiefs. And this year, we knocked the monkey off our back. And we've gotten to the promised land. 
and in three seconds, we will be champions of the NFL. The Brooklyn Barons are on top of the mountain. Jalen Hurts has led this team to a championship. I can't believe it, really, man. I cannot believe it. We were the team of destiny. We lost week one of the regular season. And then we went on a huge win streak until we lost to the Ravens and the... Who do we lose to? The Broncos. We lost to the Broncos. So those were our three losses. And then we made it in the playoffs, beat the Steelers, beat the Raiders, beat the Bengals, and now beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And Jalen Hurts is a Super Bowl champion. I cannot believe it. It was an unconventional way to end the season, especially because we should have been the one seed in the first place, but we choked it at the end of the season. But we ended up fighting through. Jalen Hurts, 13 for 21, 128 yards, two touchdowns, no interceptions, and probably Super Bowl MVP if, I'm, if, uh, if I'd had to guess. Rushing, 15 carries, 101 yards, and a touchdown for Barkley. Four carries, 27 yards for ETN. Obviously, Stevenson's run doesn't count because of the holding call. Receiving, Will Washington had four for 59, a touchdown as well. Garrett Wilson had three for 17. Jefferson had three for 41 and a touchdown. A.J. Brown had one for six. Stevenson had one for five. Blocking, Tom Lowry did good, but he uh, had that leg cramp. Defensively, Tremaine Emmons, what a player. He completely changed this game on the first drive when he forced that fumble from Leonard Fournette, and then Bryce Hall takes it back for a touchdown. Completely changed the game, because I almost was guaranteed that the Buccaneers were going to score on that drive. They seemed almost scripted that they were going to score. But Tremaine Emmons pops that ball out. Absolutely massive. Changed the entire landscape of the game. Flipped the momentum. Flipped and gave us all the momentum in the world and he ends up with 10 tackles and an interception and a forced fumble bryce hall obviously has eight tackles and the fumble recovery we had two interceptions in the game sauce gardner the one that sealed it and then no i didn't want to do that and then player stats uh, barons defense let's get back to it because i wanted to show you the Forced fumble by Tremaine Emmons, the fumble recovery by Bryce Hall, and the inner, or the touchdown by Bryce Hall as well. That was a crazy game, man. What a crazy, crazy game. And the Barons are Super Bowl champions. What a team. What a season. Next episode will be the off-season episode. A lot of things to happen. We've got decisions to make with contracts. We've got no money. We just won a Super Bowl. We got to figure out a lot of stuff. But before we end the episode, let's take a look at the season recap. Super Bowl MVP is Bryce Hall because he had the fumble recovery for a touchdown. That's not true. We know who was the Super Bowl MVP. It was Jalen Hurts. But here are your awards. Uh, Joe Burrow MVP, Brian Dayball, Coach of the Year. That's awesome. Cooper Cup and Brian Burns are the Players of the Year. And Jonathan Peoples for the Packers is the Offensive Rookie of the Year. Cameron Farr for the Raiders is the Defensive Rookie of the Year. I know you can't see those because my camera, but those are uh, who won the Rookies of the Year. Unbelievably, Bryce Hall is the... Actually, it's not as unbelievable as, I would, as you would think because Madden is dumb. And they value like interceptions and fumble recoveries and, and defensive touchdowns way more than they should. Yeah, the fumble recovery was massive play, but I don't think Bryce Hall, Bryce Hall really didn't do anything else. He had eight tackles, he had the fumble recovery, and he had the, the touchdown. That's all he did, even though Jalen Hurts probably had a better game. Whatever. That's what happens, man. That's what happens. So we've officially played four seasons of this series. We had this series, which we simulated... Uh, because we were doing the Baron, we were relocating the Barons. Then we had this full season, which we had a really bad year. <laughs> then we had this year where we made the AFC title game, lost to the Chiefs, who ended up winning the Super Bowl. And we had this year where we won the Super Bowl. It says we're a two-time Super Bowl champion, but that's just because the Jets, the team that we moved, 
won a Super Bowl back in the 60s or the 70s, whenever they won it. So they had a Super Bowl already. But this is our first ever Super Bowl. Wow. And as you can see, we have no money. Two million dollars. We got a lot of decisions to make next episode. You do not want to miss the off-season episode next episode. It's going to be absolutely crazy. As all off-season episodes in Baron series, uh, the Baron series are. But thank you guys so much for stopping watching. I truly appreciate it. We won the Super Bowl. I cannot be more happy because it's... The rebuild's complete. We did it. We won the Super Bowl. Now we just got to go back and defend it next season and go back to back. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching. I truly appreciate it. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, join the Juice Club, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.